Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is dropping almost 8% right now. It is a real catastrophe, it's dropping sharply. Will it crash even more or could it reverse from here? We're gonna talk about that and much more in this video. Just remember my friends, click on the like button to support this channel. If you're new around here, consider subscribing because I do daily analysis. I'm here every day to talk about Tesla and other stocks. Of course, I was not here yesterday for personal reasons, but uh, yesterday was an anomaly, okay? I'm gonna update you guys right now. Since I didn't record a video yesterday, in the one hour chart, Tesla broke the 918 the most important resistance level, and it went up nicely. The indices also went up nicely. In fact, the S&P broke its resistance, it hit my personal target. I do daily analysis on TradingView as well. If you want to keep in touch with my S&P analysis, just follow me over there and uh, it hit my target with astonishing precision. However, right now we are crashing. The Nasdaq index did the similar structure, we triggered a bullish pivot point, we hit our target, now we are crashing. Tesla went up nicely, it didn't hit the previous support level, which now is supposed to work as a resistance, and we are already crashing. What this means? Since we lost again the 918, along with the EMA, along with this purple trend line, which connects uh, the previous one, two, three, four bottoms over here, since we lost this triple support level, we can say that this bearish movement is ruining every single one bullish thesis we could possibly build in Tesla right now, okay? So, yes, it is a very frustrating situation, it is frustrating the previous bullish structure, yes, it is not a buy anymore, we can't say it is a buy right now, so will Tesla keep crashing? Well, right now it is too soon to tell. The problem is Tesla hit its 21 EMA, okay, it hit the EMA. I was expecting to see some resistance over here, of course I was not expecting it was going to drop that much, but we are still above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. As long as we stay above this support level, we can't say Tesla is going to uh, resume the bearish structure, okay? Because yes, we do have lower highs, lower lows. Tesla is in a bear trend in the midterm, in the daily chart since April 4. Yes, it's been a month right now. But uh, since we don't see a crystal clear lower low, we can't say Tesla will keep crashing. But I agree with you if you say that, okay, if Tesla not react tomorrow, and if we lose the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, then the market might see this as a continuation of the bear trend and we see no other target, no other support level other than the 700s. Maybe Tesla will find a support level at 756 down here, okay, this previous support level, but Technically speaking, this is a secondary support level. The most important support level other than the 61.8% retracement is the 700s again. So this is the point that Tesla must lose in order to crash very, very sharply. Do I believe Tesla will do that? Well, I'm not sure about that yet. Again, it is too soon. In the one hour chart, we see it is already reacting. I, I would be more convinced that Tesla is going to crash if it does a crystal clear bearish structure, if it does a lower high, lower low in the one hour chart. For instance, if Tesla actually uh, does a bottom level over here, lower than the previous bottom, and then reacts, but finds a resistance at any of these points over here again, and if it does this, okay, most likely Tesla will resume the bearish momentum and it's gonna seek lower levels. In the short term, in the one hour chart, the previous support level is $820, okay? $21 to be more specific, all right? So we gotta keep your eyes open at any bearish structure it could possibly build in the one hour chart and to the main support levels seen in the daily chart, consisting of the 61.8% retracement 
and of course the previous support levels 755 56 i'm so sorry and the 700s area again i do believe that this 21 ima is working indeed as a serious resistance level and so far we don't see any bullish structure okay there is nothing indicating to us that tesla will reverse this bear trend or that it's going to recover unfortunately no there is not there is not a single bullish signal right now however in the weekly chart in the weekly chart there might still there might still be some hope because we are just at the 61.8 percent retracement if tesla reacts and closes doing a crystal clear bullish candlestick pattern i think we will see decent chances of recovering but i do not believe honestly speaking even if we close good this week i don't believe we're gonna see a real recover until next week maybe by wednesday okay so right now the situation is very very complex the indices are not helping tesla will not fly again as long as the indices keep accumulating keep doing this annoying movement right now in the daily chart in the in the one hour chart as well uh, the indices are facing a very problematic situation the tech stock index is also very frustrating the nasdaq is losing support levels and we don't see any bullish reaction many other mega cap stocks they're all dropping sharply we're all bleeding so the problem is not tesla the entire stock market is dropping right now tesla alone is still a great company it is still looking good but in the short and mid term we can't say it is going to recover right now okay unfortunately it frustrated our bullish signal over here from uh two days ago but still right now it is since right now it is too soon to give you guys a crystal clear answer i think we should just wait for the for the day to close and you know what could be an interesting signal would be if tesla closes again above the 885 if tesla closes above this price level uh maybe today maybe tomorrow i think we might see a bounce back up again now if this is gonna be a dead cat bounce or not only time will tell but the key point over here in the short term in the one hour chart is 885 okay i will keep you guys updated every single day on tesla just remember my friends click on the like button to support this channel and do you want to make money using a highly profitable and consistent strategy subscribe to the finance hydra trading newsletter to get our weekly recommendations our trading methodology has a great performance which is public you may just check our website the link is in the description of this video few traders can actually beat the market consistently be one of us join the finance hydra trading newsletter and subscribe if you're new around here thank you very much for watching this video stay safe farewell